Okay, hello everyone, it's Sunday. And this Sunday was my iOS meeting. Monthly meeting, which also corresponds with the monthly plan of the month, which I won for June. And so for this edition of An Orchid Today, I'm going to go through and point out plants that qualify for plan of the month and plants that I can enter into the competition or plants that I want to enter that are worthy. I can add up to three plants, but you don't necessarily have to add three, of course. Um, so, let's jump right into it. This is an edition of Anoka Today, which I already said. And we are looking for blooms. Now, right off the bat, I have forgotten all about this, which, I, which has been in bloom for a while. So, I do think that this is going to be one of them. It has to be. Even if it is past, just the fact that I've bloomed it from a spike that was on the plant last uh, last summer, literally, and that spike stayed on the plant all winter, and then it put up blooms. So even if they are, like I said, past, I just have to put that in there. So that's an easy 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 selection for me that is uh, Trichocentrum Carthaginensis. I gotta block it up there for a minute while well, I'm not gonna put the tag because I have a drink in my hand and we'll keep moving on. Now see these don't qualify the, the, the one behind will qualify but since I bought these in Spike that doesn't qualify, I don't know what the rules are, but for me, my own rule is if you don't bloom it yourself, if you're not responsible for it, deemed by yourself, and it's your own opinion because you're the one that's entering the plant in the competition, and I hope you're hearing me because I sent a message and someone just responded to me before, just now, and said they didn't hear the message, so anyway, we will we'll keep on moving, and we're looking for flowers. Like I said, that I am responsible for or I believe the rule may actually be six months, but my rule is, and look at these seed pods. I can't think of a seed pod, so we'll keep moving, and I'm not responsible for that, of course. So the one that I have in mind, well, I had kind of briefly considered this but really only would consider this plant if it had more flowers open from the spike that is in bud. Just because I just, you know, even though it is spectacular, I would prefer it to have another flower on it. But the more that I think about it, the way that it presents itself is gorgeous. Amazing. I mean, I could just do a screenshot right now right now the way that the sun is shining on it and i just did and that would be my entry i don't have to worry about the dark background i mean that's amazing yeah but i think i would like to get as much Just beautiful in that light. But, so that's two, and I can only do three, but I think you all know <clears throat> what I'm, what first came to my mind, and I'm sure it came to your mind, which is this species right here that is just waiting in wait. This is what is going to be the winner. They don't know it, but we all know it. And this is my trichoglottis orchidea. That is a species, likes a lot of water, very floriferous when given the right amount of humidity water bright light it will 
just keep on going. I mean, it produces the flowers from the nodes and it will continue on from the beginning of the cane all the way down to the end. Very rewarding plant. The name, once again, Trupicolatus orchidea. I believe this is from Asia somewhere, maybe the Philippines, I'm guessing. I really didn't do my research. I, I, I have too many plants, but I do, I knew at one time, but I forget. But anyway, folks, that's all for today. I will be back soon because I have a, a uh, I'm gonna do a live probably in a few minutes as soon as I load this up. But anyway, thanks for watching.